Now, we learned how to generate a report in an earlier training video, but in this video, if you're looking for reports and you didn't see the earlier training video, I'm going to show you how you can do it here in a bit more detail. So before I do that, I want to emphasize, as I went over in an earlier training video, that if you don't know what view you're in, you can come over here and look in the view bar, and you can see its Gantt chart, and if you have a bunch of cells here, that's the table. You can see over there is the chart. If you want to know within that view what table you're looking at, then you can hover over the table header square there. You can see the table in the pop-up is entry, and then you can see also the views of the Gantt chart. If you want to go ahead and change that, like I want to do, give it a right click. You can see entries checked. Let's go ahead and go to cost. I want to do that because coming off the previous training video, learning how to set a baseline, so we have the original projects plan when it comes to, well, our costs, um, the duration, start and finish dates. Well, in this table, it actually has the costs, including the baseline costs that I can compare. And I can't see my entire table here, so I'm going to go ahead and hover over the split bar between the table and the uh, chart and click and drag it so I can see more. There we go. And you can see when I hover over the column label there, it says baseline cost. And I can compare that. Let's see, the original plan was 10,300. Oops, I'm over. In any case, I can break it down here by going, okay, which one did it jump in? Was it the research phase? Yes. From 1,300 to about 1,800. Okay, within that phase, which subtask did it jump on? Well, the baseline 400 is the same for the total cost. The examined software, that didn't change, nor did search internal documentation, but here, when we added the second day, as you recall in the previous training video, so it took two days to complete, interview subject matter experts, the cost doubled. Okay. Now to go ahead and go back to the default table to entry, you can just come up here and right click on the table header and go to entry and we're back to where we started. Well, you can click and drag the split bar over and get it close, close to the duration, then double click really fast so it can snap to it, that column, when it's close enough. And then to go ahead and generate some reports, come up here, click on the project tab, Go to the reports group and there you go. Click on reports. And you got quite a few to choose from. There's the overview, the category. Double click on that. We want an overview for the project or the project summary. Double click on that. And then come over here in the preview window before you click print to see if this is what you want and click on it to zoom in. And you can see there's our start date and the baseline was the original start date here. And that hasn't changed. How about the duration? Oh, yep. Our original project plan, when we took a snapshot to set the baseline was 30 days, then we started entering in information or changing the duration and completing task. Now it's bumped up to one day, so the variance is one day. I mean, you can go ahead and go through this and compare and contrast against that. And uh, when you're done, go ahead and print it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the File tab to go back and then come over here, go to Reports, click on Reports again. And let's take a look at another report. How about Assignments? Double click. And how about who does what when? Let's take a look at that. Um, you also got over allocated resources. That's cool. But who does what when? Double click on that. And it says, okay, what are the dates that you want to take a look at this? Right now it's the project start date to its, uh, looks like it's finish date from uh, project start to finish. And you can say, eh, let's not do that far out. Let's go ahead and go to September the 15th, okay? And you can see it'll only print the time scale between the selected dates. If I go ahead, click on it to zoom in. Let's zoom in. So before we print it off, we can see what we're looking at here. Who does what when? Well, writer one is going to do what? Well, there's the task he's assigned to. And when is he going to do it? On August the 31st, he'll be examining the software. Keep scrolling over. Then he's got a break here, and then he's going to be working, finishing up on that task on the 7th, and then start on the next task on the 8th. And of course, when I print it off, I'll be able to see that, not have to scroll back and forth to go, oh, that's search internal documentation. Cool. And just go ahead and click print when you're done. Click on the file tab and we're back to our project. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.